bro. So these are just nutrients. NASA juice. These are just nutrients. <laughs> now these are plant nutrients. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, but you are right. Like now there's but, inhalers, now there's uh, fucking enemas, now fucking enemas. I, there's every yeah. shape and form that Niggas you could- Niggas getting it in the ass? <laughs> yeah, man. taking weed in the ass. That's <laughs> crazy. Yeah, dog. He's getting fucked <laughs> by the weed, bro. That's crazy. And talking about you want to hit this next? They pass the enema like, nigga, <laughs> like nigga, you old. and they could be like, nigga, don't be doing all my weed, nigga. Pass that shit, greedy ass. You don't, you didn't even put in on this shit. <laughs> Get son of Terry. Ugh, Terry, nigga, you didn't clean your ass, nigga. <laughs> Why's the table that's all wet? Uh, let me know we're ready. We're ready. All right. Masonic Smoker Podcast. Oh, shit. Was somebody short here? Yeah, it's probably Pat Barker. Okay. I'm not tall either, but Jesus. There we go. All right. Masonic Smoker Podcast. Welcome back, guys. Uh, shout out Green Cleaner. Make sure you guys are using Green Cleaner in your garden. MasonicSeeds.co. We got Frank Castile, my co-host here. We got special guest, Jamar. Neighbors, yeah. Hey, what's Malachi? going on, Malachi? Yeah, Malachi? yeah, that's my middle name. Yeah, that's yeah. what's up. Fuck yeah. yeah. Uh, first time I seen you was like in a bathtub, on 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 a story post on Instagram where you're like flopping in a bathtub or something. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The, uh, that uh, raging waters clip. Some it was hilarious. That shit was like a long time ago. Yeah, that's the first time I seen him, yeah. and and I just kind of whatever. That's my first glimpse of yeah. of Jamar, and then. And then uh, at the roast battle you invited me to, so, so you were a judge we, there. We, uh, it's because the weed stuff I'm getting to do. You know, we met through mutual friends, and then, uh, you know, he loves comedy. And I always like, anyone who loves comedy, I love showing him the store. So I brought him to the store, brought him to roast battle. He saw you, and he was like, I've heard of him before. And I was like, oh, that's cool. And then I, did I take? I took you to see him do stand-up, right? S- n- no, no, no. So I seen that, and then that day was when you did like, uh, you were like, oh, the foo. You, you did an advertisement on the foo, or you just name-dropped the foo. And I keep seeing billboards of it. And I went home and I'm, I'm gonna watch this shit. The what? The this fool, fool. The show. This oh, fool. this fool. This fool. Season two coming soon. That's what I'm talking about. Hulu. Oh, yeah. And so I watched it and I'm like, oh, this, this is hilarious. And I seen him in your roast battle too. Yes, 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 yes. So and uh, and then I and then I did like a, I just watched a bunch of your stand up in bed. Uh, I think it was last night or this morning. Oh yeah. And I skimmed through like your whole Instagram and I seen that video of you like, walking through Target and you said, uh, what did you say? When you had the mask on, you're like something. I sell crack at my grandma's house. Or something. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. But, Selling crack out of grandma's house. But you oh, said it shit. like, 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 like a diva. Oh like, yeah, <laughs> I was like selling crack out of grandma's house <laughs> or some shit like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, man. I love Target runs, man. Yeah. Which I, Target was that? The one right here, uh, Hollywood Target. All right. All yeah, right. yeah, yeah. I used to work at Target. I got fired from like two of them. Which Wait ones? for what? Yeah, it was two of them. <laughs> okay, the first one, um, the first one, it was in Manhattan Beach, uh-huh. <laughs> and uh, they had this thing, they had this thing that you like get the boxes with. It's like a machine uh-huh. or whatever, and then you gotta like, it's called the wave, or, like yeah. r- randomly, but it's yeah. called like the wave or whatever, and you lift it up, or whatever, and then you get the box off the top, right? But me and me and my other coworkers, like we like like racing the motherfuckers like down like the hall. <laughs> <and all that>. <laughs> <laughs> So they had just built like this. Uh, I think I told this on the podcast where they they built like this new like uh, uh like the new steel like to keep the like to keep all the, the stocks and shit up yeah, in that yeah. motherfucker whatever. And I ran that shit right into like the brand new steel. And the boss was in the back and she was up there like uh she was up there like God damn it Jamar, God damn it. <laughs> she was up there like we just got that fucking steel. And I was like oh, I'm sorry Sandy. And then she was like sorry. Yeah okay. Next time I came into work. I had my lunch and shit, <laughs> <laughs> my little frozen burrito, all that shit. And I came in and she was at the light. She didn't let me in the door. She was like, stop right there. And then she had these papers. I was like, oh, shit, not the papers uh, with the clipboard attached. She was like, your three-month probation and all that shit is over or whatever. And she was at the light. Nigga, you fired. <laughs> I heard that shit. Uh, is there a position at Target called the fluffer? Is that true? The fluffer? Yeah, like someone that cleans shit or something like that. Is that is that a thing or is that the just fluffer? Like like the, a fluffer is also someone that keeps someone hard in between scenes. Yeah, yeah. But is that also a position at Target? I don't remember the you, fluffer. You don't remember the fluffer? Uh uh-uh. uh. You used yeah. to work at CVS. I worked at Rite Aid. Rite Aid for Rite five Aid? years. Oh yeah. Five Which years one? In uh, Paramount. 
Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah that was yeah. the other thing, too, is you found out he's from Compton. You're both from Compton. I yeah. mean, yeah. I'm, I'm, I was born in, I grew up on 111th and Avalon. Oh, and, shit. And, yeah, yeah. My grandma lived on 118th and Broadway. Yeah, so Diana grew up on 104th and Broadway. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. And then, uh, fuck, uh, you ever been fired from a job? Me? Fired from a job? Yeah. I, I've i never been fired. I quit. And got I got blamed. I was quitting, and then I got blamed for something that completely wasn't me. And the manager believed them over me, and it like it really fucking sucked. But I did actually Starbucks right. So when I got a job at the store, when I was still working at Starbucks, I had the position of uh, it was like you either have to quit or you're gonna get fired because the manager was covering for me because I'd show up late all the time because roast battle went till two or three mm-hmm. in the morning in the heyday, yeah. and I'd show up at Starbucks four in the morning for work but i'd be like high or fucking hung over and shit would just not get done or it would just be i'd be done terrible right and uh the manager was covering me because she knew i was chasing a dream but the supervisor was a cunt and would always like send complaints to the district manager about me so it finally all came to a head at the end and then they were like you gotta she was like you gotta they quit. can't cover for you yeah, anymore they gotta yeah. she said you gotta quit yeah or, you, or, or, or you gotta resign or i get fired yeah how long did you work there like a couple of years, but it was like I get it too. I was I was showing up to work extremely. You should let high. them fire you and get that unemployment, boy. Sh- I showed up. You fucked yeah. up. Well, yeah. I was already, <laughs> <laughs> well, I was already working at the store, so I couldn't collect unemployment. Oh, well, that's that's what you think. You know, you <laughs> pay me cash for a bit and then put me on the books later. Uh, so you grew up in Compton. Uh, so I spent like the first five years of my life there, and then I moved to like um like like 40 then hooper so that's out of confidence that's like, like south central yeah that's south central yeah. so i kind of like bounced like around or whatever so, so, so where does south central end and where does it start i don't know because I'm, I'm from south central <laughs> right. and they're like i'm on 10th and fucking you know townie or some shit you know like, like i don't even know if that's a cross street but like all i remember yeah. is that i grew up right across the street from jefferson high school like four that's like 40th and hooper and that was right around the time, like, the Bloods and the Crips used to have, like, uh, used to have football games, like, like against each other. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, like, just to, like, increase the peace and all that I, I, shit. I, I, how old are you? I'm 30. So I'm about to be 37. I'm 30. Years. So, you know, Whoa, gang shit. banging was way crazier when you were, like, a teenager or middle school as yeah, opposed yeah. to when I was, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, well, yeah, I remember those days. Yeah. I remember those days where they were trying to increase the peace. Yeah. And then, uh... <laughs> Then they, uh, I didn't go to them. My cousin said that they they went to a couple of games and shit. And every time, like a blood or somebody would score, and then the Chris would be like, "Man, fuck," you know, like <laughs> oh, this the game thing, or like the bloods and all that shit, or whatever, like vice versa. I'm like, mm-hmm. but that was cool. They don't even do shit like that no more. Mm-hmm. Hell no. Nah. So you ended up growing uh, closer, like to like downtown LA and shit. I guess where the Hooper is near downtown, yeah. but it's like. Because, I mean, it's all near downtown, but I feel like it gets narrower and narrower the more you go yeah. into, like, the, the, the lower numbers, you know? Yeah. And it gets more, and and, it, and it's getting more claustrophobic, like, because I grew up on 111th in Avalon, mm-hmm. and I my grandma still lives there, mm-hmm. and I go visit, and I'm like, damn, like, more and more and more, like, you guys are just going to start living on top of each other eventually here. Yeah. Yep. And then I, for a while, I moved to Baldwin Hills. I moved there for a second, like, that's when, like. You know, we got out of like South Central or like Compton area, and we moved to like Baldwin Hills, and that was cool. How old are you when you're in Baldwin Hills? Uh, I moved there when I was like eight, and I stayed there for like a year and a half, and then I moved to Inglewood, and I moved to Altadena, and then I moved back to Baldwin Hills. So you're just all over LA. Yeah, that's why I said I grew up like all around. Yeah, like, LA I, I just grew up like. Uh, predominantly 111th and Avalon. What well, high school you went to? Lock. Lock High School. I'm yeah. a Lock Saint. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I'm yeah, a yeah. Lock alumni. That's where my big brother went. I went to San Pedro, uh, San Pedro High School, but I got kicked out. Oh yeah. And then they What'd you get me. kicked out for? I I was just like a hothead, dude. I was like just walking around. I used to walk around with my wife beater on. I had a tattoo at 16. <laughs> at school. <laughs> at 16. Yeah. Goddamn, yeah, I, I was a badass. <laughs> you from out here, right? Now I'm from the Bay Area. My family's from out here. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. But yeah, I had like a chip on my shoulder. I don't know. And then as soon as I got kicked out and sent to lock, I was pissed. Like I was mad because I don't know. I didn't want to be there, you know. And uh, it was like I knew all the kids there because I used to go to Gompers too. So Damn. It's like, yeah, I was like, ah oh, man, I gotta be back with these motherfuckers again, you know? And, yeah, yeah. But yeah, it was cool, you know. I seen Patrick and everybody I used to play Yu-Gi-Oh with. I was on the football team in middle school, so all those knuckleheads had my back. And I was like, oh, you're back. What happened? You know? Did you graduate? 
Yeah, barely, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, you seem like one of the motherfuckers. He had to go to continuation school. Nah, so check it out. I had advanced placement classes. Oh, like, yeah, AP? I had AP. So you was real smart. I was smart, but I just was bad at math Applying yourself? Oh, and okay. bad at chemistry. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, that's like me. Like, yeah. I, don't fu- I didn't fuck with them numbers back then. English, like, literature, history, uh, uh, science, biology. Uh, I was a little bit bad. But now I'm better with like words and shit. I'd be better at it now. But still to this day, long division. My mom whooped my ass one time because she didn't know long division either. And she like with a fucking one of these, you know, like she just got frustrated because I'm like, oh, mom, I need help with this. Like, and she's like, you don't know this. She was challenged. She felt (laughs) challenged. I remember I told this is so funny because my wife's a psychologist. And I remember like I'll tell her like shit about growing up. And then she'll just be like, she'll just stare at me. And I'm like, oh, was that not? Was that not healthy or good? What, what, yeah. And she was like, that's not good. Like, I vividly remember me, like, having to learn my ABCs. And I remember, like, crying and fucking up because, like, I would fuck up and my mom would just scream at me. And then I remember she would, like, hit me because I would keep fucking up, right? <laughs> not, like, hard, but, like, with a belt and shit. You know what I mean? Like, she was, like, because she was fudged. She was like, what the fuck's going on? I'd be like, oh, it's, it's like M, C, oh, fuck. And then, like, it was so, and then, like, I think about it and I think it's funny. And my wife's like, that's not hilarious at all. That's so bad. <laughs> yeah. It's, I it's, think it's hilarious because the parents are so bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and also, the older I get, the more I look at like the life I've created and stuff. I'm like, man, y'all really couldn't have gotten your shit. They together. had their you know own I mean? struggles, like, yeah. man. Yeah. You know, like they, they was kids having us kind of. Yeah, stuff. they were kids that had like, us too. Yeah, I know. I don't know who, who I'm regurgitating that shit from, but like they for sure had their own fucking like problems while trying to like. You know, my dad and mom also from South Central. They yeah. went to Lock too. Yeah, yeah, and and same fucking thing. Like, you know, my dad, they had their own struggles, man. They, they wasn't like other people's families like oh you know he's nice and we sent him to a nice school and everything they tried to send me to a nice school but i always got kicked out every yeah. fucking time yeah yeah it wasn't that nice yeah hell no i don't know i just got i don't know but what about fremont that's where my parents went or that's where well, i don't know about my daddy but that's where definitely my mama went no. <laughs> for sure <laughs> like i don't know where my daddy you know <laughs> there, there's a thing like with, yeah right now with people from south central right there's like mm-hmm. you have to prove your south central card it's like like oh i went to lock Oh, okay. Like you're good, you know. Like yeah, oh, yeah. I went. Oh, l- like nine double oh five nine. Like it's on my card. Like I have to show people sometimes. It's like, I gr- people say it's Watts, because it's like nine double oh five nine. But like Watts is a little bit different. Watts is a very small section. Like there's Grape Street and it's like these other little blocks. Yeah, that's and where Tyrese grew up. Yeah, that place right there is like. I used to ride my bike through there, and my dad always be worried, like, well, don't go to his house. Like, it's bad. It's bad. And we'd ride our nice-ass beach cruiser. Thank God nothing ever happened. We never got chased. Nothing. But not until I moved to El Segundo in Vermont, finally, some dudes chased me down, man. And, and that shit was like, I didn't really think of it at the time, but if they would have caught up, they would have probably snatched that fucking bike off of me. Hell yeah, you know? it's a fucking beach cruiser. Man, that shit I was like, scary. I feel like Debo now. Look at the beach cruiser. <laughs> <laughs> what's, what's the craziest shit that ever happened to you growing up in, in Compton or any of these fucking areas in L.A.? One, one. <laughs> oh, look at that face, dog. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Nothing ever happened. <laughs> oh, man. There's got to be something, man. Oh, Nothing. God, oh, man. Dog. I mean, like. I went to, but I went to Dorsey. Like, I, so I, you know, Dorsey. Nah, G, where's you that? You know Dorsey? Nah, I've How heard it. Know? I've heard it before, though. You know, it was like Crenshaw was like our rivals, kind of sort of. So okay. cause that's when I was living on Forty Second and Western. All right. And all that shit. I went there. The craziest thing that happened. I mean, we've been shot at before, like uh, drive-by shit. And yeah. So when I was ten. I remember fucking they a white bitch in the alley. Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah, there we go. Nigga on God, wait, hold on, hold on, wait. That's crazy. I just not remember that. I remember fucking this white bitch in the alley, nigga, off 118th and like Athens Way. And she had, she had saw me. And she, <laughs> I she had saw. I forgot where the fuck she. I forgot where the fuck we met. But like, I know fucking this bitch in an alley on 118th. And at this way against my grandma against like well it was my grandma backyard but like the backyard you could look into the alley whatever <laughs> and they had a brick wall and I just remember having that bitch on that wall <laughs> right there that's crazy. I remember that shit and that's crazy because nobody ever went into that alley you don't go into that alley hey we went in that alley fuck it. recently I was driving down Greenleaf to the Target mm-hmm. uh, like probably two years ago and there's a cemetery on 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 that street in Compton. 
going towards there. That's and my uh, grandfather buried. I seen some people busting booties at the tree at the cemetery. I was oh, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, nah, yeah. nah. Yeah, that's they. They were just pop, 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 and 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 that broad daylight. Loud. Broad, no, no, they like. Oh. It was, but you could see that the. Was loud. You, <laughs> you could see the. Pop, pop, you could see the thrust motion. I'm like, they are fucking at the cemetery right now, <laughs> in broad daylight. It was probably like twelve o'clock, dude. Pretty gnarly, shit that happens right. in the hood. Hell I love yeah. it though, man. Hey, I guess I damn. Now it's all coming back. I remember gang and shit. I remember like getting like, I like. <laughs> you ever get like your puppy stolen? Nah, I never. I never owned a dog. That was my brother. Like that nigga used. To I got a puppy stolen shit. one time. A puppy stolen? Yeah, they broke into our house and they, they took. took they puppy? took my puppy. They oh. took my. It was a pit bull. It was a pit bull. Yeah. How they, would I know? Yeah. They took, <laughs> the, pit bull, of course. They took the pit fucking. I puppy. remember shit like my. I remember shit like my brother like dog fighting in the backyard. <laughs> and, uh, and then my grandma, my grandma, <laughs> her old ass, she would try to come and try to like break it up and shit like that. This 87-year-old woman nigga trying to break up two fucking vicious pit bulls That's, and she don't know how to do it. She over here hitting it with a broom and shit like that. Oh, my God. And them God. niggas just will not fucking let go. She over here wetting them in the yeah. mouth and shit, nigga trying to get them to let go. Dog fighting was a big thing growing up on 111th and Avalon. You would see the stray dogs, like the, the dogs that were no good, yeah. like just like random Kick and abandoned. Kick niggas out. Yeah, and uh, you would see it too. My neighbors, they would fight fucking dogs. Like you peek over, there's fucking motherfuckers fighting dogs right Get there. Down. They fought roosters at my house. You know, Damn. my uncles. Yeah. yeah, that shit's wild yeah. too. Some roosters got fighting. They, they got blades. Allegedly, people getting fucked up, dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They fought. You know, it's, it's crazy growing up. I remember smelling weed all the time growing up in the hood. You see zigzag papers all over the ground. Yeah. Yeah, my brother, I remember one time my brother socked me because he thought that I stole his weed and all this shit and all, and all kind of shit. He was like, but I don't smoke. I've yeah, been yeah. like, like out of, out, of, out of all, it's four of us, but out of all of us, it's like, I'm like the, I'm like the square kind of sort of, so. Which is so funny to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, and so it's so funny being around the comedy community is like, oh, he wild. I'm like, oh, you ain't seen wild. I'm so, <laughs> so it's funny because I remember when you met my dad, right? Yeah, you saw him, yeah, yeah. and that's how most of my family. Like, I got family members that I can't. Like, I have a joke. I had a joke. And it was like I got a half Mexican cousin. That's he's half Mexican, half Japanese. So half of them has to say the N word, and the other half like needs to say it. Yeah, 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 yeah. and it's so ridiculous because he's front. He went to prison, right? And he's just one of those guys. And it's just kind of like it's tough bringing him around. So, the, so but, yeah. So I don't know if you agree or like know this, right? So like going to Gompers. Mm -hmm. Going to lock. Mm -hmm. You know how the dudes mm -hmm. talk there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I talked like that at one point in my mm -hmm. life. And going on to Instagram. Like, you used to say the N-word and shit? All the fucking time. Yeah. Because gone. Are you Mexican? I'm Mexican. Oh, okay, cool. I'm, I'm full Mexican. Because you uh, could pass for hippie white. Uh, people say that to you, right? Now, now. I used to have oh. short hair. Hey, what's up? Foo, 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 okay. foo. But now it's like Instagram and having an image and everything, you know, like. You, yeah, my it's, whole, it's not okay. Got, it's not okay, yeah, by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not okay. But I, I but go go to Gompers and tell all these badass kids that. I already, yeah, I mean, I mean, I already know what that is. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that yeah. was. I mean, that's every. I mean, that's not even just Gompers. That's like, in that's, a lot of places. That's the hood, period. Yeah. It's like Mexicans say that shit sometimes better than niggas. Puerto Ricans. <laughs> <fucking like. laughs> they say it so. They say it so good. Like you don't even. You don't even think about it. <laughs> I remember, bro. I yeah. I remember. My cousin, when he got out of prison, and his best friend was a black guy, and like he grew up in the hood and everything. And I remember when went, he had like a day job, and uh, he got fired, and we were all just, "What happened?" He didn't want to say, and I was like, "We were just finally like, what happened? Why did you get fired?" He's like, "I got fired for dropping the n bomb at work." And I was like, "Did you call someone the n bomb?" He's like, "Not really." And I was like, "What happened?" He was like, "He made a sale," and I was really excited, and I was like, "My," and then he got fired for that, and I was like, "That's." So fucking funny. You, That's so funny to me, dog. You know what's funny about that? Like, like just saying it, it's like, okay. You see, that means that he was bad at saying it. Because <laughs> oh, you, you my really God. Good, if you're really good at saying it, you don't hear it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know what I'm no, saying? No, no, no. It comes no, off no, no. just like like yeah, second yeah. nature. No, no, it just, he, it said just, it, he said he said a guy, he said his friend that he was friends with didn't get offended, but the people that he worked with did. Oh, my God. So he was just like, and that was the problem with him going what from like the prison. He was Mexican. He was oh. half Mexican, half Japanese. but he Japanese? Like, yeah, yeah. Oh, man. He went to, he went to like prison and he got out. and then Yeah. 
fucking. Bro, he's my favorite one to joke with because he, he says the most long. wildest <laughs> shit, dog. Oh my so god, so funny. So I love those friends. Boy. Yeah, there's this. Vlad has this new interview with this dude. He always has random dudes well, like Charleston White. No, uh, it's 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 it's, it's like Big Shoe or something, and he's like a Chinese black dude. Oh yeah, he's yeah yeah, he's and, like and, half Chinese, half black, and guy. he just like you know, it just, he's dropping, and, and he looks just like a he's, he, he looks, looks like a, yeah. he looks like a fat and, Chinese guy, and he just this, but he's saying it good. He's saying it so well. Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> look, 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 look. I was at the, uh, I was washing my clothes the other day over here on uh, on Sunset and like Martell or whatever. And there was like this, uh, this young white hippie kid. Like he said he was in a band or whatever, long hair and shit. And uh, but he was like cool and down. He's actually from the Bay Area. Yeah. And um and he was like, yo man, you know, nice car and this and this and that. I was like, oh thank you, whatever. And he was like, yo, can I ask you something? You know, he was a rapper or whatever. He goes, you know, as a black, he goes, he goes, as a black man, right? He goes, you don't like white people saying the N word, right? And me personally, like you talk, like I say, hey yo, I don't care, but I know some niggas that will. Yep. Yeah, I've always been. Yeah, I've always I, and been I'm like that. that. Like, like, look, I'm gonna get mad, but this nigga right here, he may get mad. And he was like, well, do you feel uh, uh, that progress could be made so much to where white? <laughs> He said, isn't that crazy? Isn't that the crazy shit ever? He said, do you feel that progress could be made? Progress. Progress, progress. could be made so much that we will live in a world where white people can say it. Oh, my. Oh, my God. It got you to say it with a hard R? <laughs> he couldn't uh, wait to spit it in his raps. That's oh, all. Yeah, yeah. And my thing was just that. He's yeah. like, there's so many words that rhyme with it. That's yeah, why, man. Yeah, yeah. Figure, trigger, <laughs> figure. <laughs> Liquor. Like... <laughs> He's like it's messing with my creativity, man. Oh my god! But I told, but I, but I told him after he said that I was like, <laughs> absolutely not. Yeah, yeah. And, you lost your opportunity. Yeah. And, and I told, and I also told him I said, and I said I was like, you kind of lost. And I was like, had you just said it, I probably wouldn't even thought about it. But you tried to, you put too it's, much before it. Yeah, it's a lot now of I'm like, about it. you know what I mean? It's a lot of like tiptoeing yeah. and stuff. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah. Hey, growing up in the hood, we watched the movie South Central. You know, we watched all that OG shit. OG Bobby Johnson. And we thought we were those guys. We were like yeah, deuces. Yeah. We, were, me and my uncles, deuces. Yeah. Hey, and then my dad I, was a lowrider so, culture guy. Yeah, it was all bad. So me and my wife, uh, <laughs> is, uh I don't. Wanna I feel like it. I know who you are. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to throw her under was the bus. Bad. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to throw her under the bus, but I remember uh, we would always do like. Uh, like uh, uh, a like an Asian accent, right? Right, uh, and we were like, "What is that from?" And then we watched Team America. Remember the movie Team yeah, America? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, Kim Jong Un yeah. was in person, and it yeah. was like, "Oh, that's what it's from." And then I realized that because of that, it turned into this whole thing where we'll occasionally do that to each other, right? And I was like, oh shit, like out of context, that's gotta be the worst thing. You would do a thing. voice, an uh, Asian voice? Not in an Asian voice, the Kim Jong un voice. Yes. Yeah. How, like, how does it sound? Like, oh, Ron Ri. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's, so it's so bad. It's so bad, right? The movie's hilarious. And then I realized, oh shit, that's, I was like, out of context, that's <laughs> terrible. But like, if you see in the movie, it's hysterical. And then I was like, oh, so I guess like as you get older, you're like, oh, I'm fucked. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, times have changed a lot, yeah. you know? Yeah. It's so funny. It's so funny, bro. I tweeted the other day and i wasn't trying to be funny no nothing like i was just asking i said okay uh i said hey asian twitter <laughs> i said what does ching chong mean because <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. i wasn't trying to be racist i really just wanted to know <laughs> google couldn't help him bro i didn't think to google it I just like to ask, i'm i just like to ask the general public yeah well, it's also like you know it's this weird sense of humor that i know that i really like about you and a few other people is like when you grow up in like the ghetto or come from that kind of community that is almost your sense of humor it's this ignorance but it's not like an ignorance where you get in the midwest where it's like an angry kind of like it is almost childlike ignorance yeah right? yeah, it's, yeah it's, it's like it's like oh, i really don't know like, yeah like, i know a lot of shit and like so i can come off intelligent but then when there's some shit when i don't know like, i don't know yeah, yeah so what was the answer Oh, so 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 okay, okay. So peep this, peep this. Some dude. What Panda Express say? <laughs> <laughs> Get him out of here. <laughs> these motherfuckers got racist. These motherfuckers got real racist. They were like, they were like, well, what do what do clicks and pops mean, right? 
and I said, and I said, and I said, I don't know. They can mean different things. I said, I said, send me the click and pop sound, and maybe I'll fucking articulate it for you, right? I don't know what any of that shit means. But then I tur- it turns out Ching Chong means a funeral service. Wait, really? Yeah, but you didn't know that though, did you? Yeah. No. And now you know. That's dope. Don't you kind of feel a little smarter and a little less? <laughs> That's all I was saying. It was a, ling- it was a linguistics question. <laughs> they gotta, they gotta put you at Snapple Facts. They gotta get oh, you God. on the team. Oh, I love Snapple Facts. my God, Jamar Snapple Facts. Yeah, man. Bro. Like one whole fucking season of That's Snapple so Facts funny. just from straight from Jamar. So I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm yeah, there. Yeah. I'm buying Snapple. You're one again. of my favorites to watch stand up wise because of your act outs and the way you think. Uh, uh, and also, I've talked to you about jokes, and you've said things to me that I just never even thought of, especially when it comes to, like, act-outs. I remember I told you, like, a joke, and you're like, that joke's hilarious, and you're like, what if you did, like, this kind of act-out? And I was like, oh, I didn't even think to add that or how, like, that is a whole nother level do it. Like, I remember one of my favorite jokes that you do um, was uh, the hot route bit where you talk about uh, shooting a load in the air. Oh, and yeah. A girl, a girl run a hot route, and she's just, like, a, a, a white slant. She's like... Running, she jumps and she catches it. Oh and yeah, bro, <laughs> this bitch name. I don't. I mean, excuse me. This beautiful, intelligent, cute hottie. Uh, nigga, my mama be watching like some podcast sometimes, and then she be like, the way you talk about women makes me feel like you don't respect women. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, I just be talking. I don't be like trying to disrespect nobody. But anyway, whatever. So this one bitch I used to date, <laughs> nigga. Uh, she was kind of like a tomboy who used to play uh power pro powder pro football. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so uh, <laughs> she was so hard. She was like a tomboy. Like she wasn't a les. She wasn't a lesbian, but she's like a tomboy. But she had ass or whatever, you know. But like anyway. But that's where I came up with that joke. Where I was just like, man. Like one day she wouldn't let me fuck or whatever. So I was like, oh, can I get some head? You know what I'm saying? This and this and that. And then she was just like, all right, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> right. <laughs> and then I was just thinking, like, when I left, I said, I said, nigga, that bitch played power pro football, bro. And I said, nigga, wouldn't it be funny, nigga, you like jacking off, right? And then uh, she lined up over here like a wide receiver. And you jacked off, and then she ran her out and catched the nut in her mouth, nigga, and then ran off. Like, listen. So who's animating so, that so first? So 12, 12.30 at Wait. night in the main room after they've seen a million things, and Jamar goes up and throws that out of nowhere. Yo, turns people. Like, people are yeah. like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> and they immediately start paying attention. It's so funny. That's... And then you're one of my dad's favorite comics. Because I remember he used to come. When I was coming up through the L.A. system, when I would do open mics, he'd come and watch the open mics, and he's gotten to see all the levels of it. Now we'll go see shows and shit at the store. But he saw you, Jack Knight, um, a few other people at Rock Paper Coffee. Oh, really? Yeah, way back when. So he remembers vividly that and thinking of how fun that was. And he said you had a joke about a slave trader Joe's that he, like, will remind me of every once in a while. It was like, I he's like, uh, I only buy my, uh, I only like real... Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, uh, I was talking about like uh, uh, uh black owned grocery stores and yeah, shit. Yeah. yeah, slave, slave Trader Joe's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, yeah, only the realest niggas work here. <laughs> Most organic niggas yeah. work here. So, Trader Joe's is so bad. You shop at Trader Joe's? That shit. Ass, it's re rock, yeah. right? Nothing it's ninety nine cent store re rock, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah it's, it's nothing so bad. Good Trader Joe's no, to me, no, that no. shit all trash. It's like I never eat no motherfucking cereal called Puffins. Like, 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 you ever see Trader Joe's cereal? Yeah, it's bad. It's that shit bad. trash. It's like it's like all wheat oats. What's your uh, like top five cereals? Uh, Fruity Pebbles, um, uh, Frankenberries. Ooh, anything that make the milk taste for fire. Um, oh yeah, I, I like a um, um, fucking a. You know, it's overrated. It's Lucky Charms. Yeah. Come on, man! Don't be putting Lucky Charms. But you, now that you put like it, now that you put it in perspective, Lucky Charms is not that. It's just they nice. ass. Oh, it's but like, uh, the recipe probably diminished Captain over Crunch time. Captain Crunch and uh, the the berries is great. But the all berries, yeah, all, all berries. berries. Oops, all berries. Oops, all berries. Um, yeah. yo, okay. I like honey bunches of oats. Okay, yeah, I fuck with honey bunches. Yeah, of oats. yeah, with the clusters, yeah, yeah. with the almond, almond, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, c- cinnamon, uh, and cinnamon toast crunch. Cinnamon toast crunch. I'm not a cinnamon toast. Really? My son ate some this morning. Really? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. is great too. What? O's? That's why we're the a little Oreo bit late. Cereal? Ed had no, to eat a cereal. No, it's not Oreos. O's is like it's kind of like a sweeter Cheerio. Oh, okay. You know what I don't like is raisins. Raisin, raisin brand. Hey, I fuck with the crunchy ones. Because they're, they're kind of like... Yeah. Oh, oh, they had those, like, they have the, like, something cluster raisins. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah that's those good ones, shit. Yeah, yep. You guys like mini wheats? I fuck with mini wheats. Frosted every, mini wheats? Every now and then, because they do make the milk taste good. I like mm-hmm. frosted mini wheats. That's yeah, my favorite. Yeah, yeah. I'm not a big milk guy either. I got weak ass bones. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, uh, but uh, I'll eat some mini wheats like once every three months. Bro, I just became lactose intolerant. <laughs> just late life? Just, bro. I'm, I'm <laughs> about to be 37, bro, but I just can't. I didn't realize I was lactose intolerant until I started dating my wife. Really? Yeah, because I remember. Um, you would just kill cereal like nothing. No, no, no. I would murder milkshakes, and then I'd have to go. We'd have to go home immediately after. Yeah. And then after a while, she was like, "Does this happen every time?" And I go, "Yeah." And she goes, "You know, you're, you're probably lactose intolerant." And I was just like, "What's that?" And she was like, "It means you can't handle dairy." And I was like, "Oh." She was like, "Did you just think that's what happens when you drink milkshakes?" And I was like, "Yeah." <laughs> she was like, "So you still kept drinking milkshakes afterwards?" I was like, "Yeah, they're great." Like I was like, I thought this was just a part of it. You know what I mean? You know the Did reason. Your wife keep you alive, bro. Oh, <laughs> like, oh she really like, Jesus is. Like, Christ. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Parents shouldn't talk to yeah, people yeah. like that. Oh, and one of I can say this now too. One of our deepest regrets is not having you at our wedding. We had people cancel last minute, and I remember being so mad because I was like, if you would have just canceled weeks before, I'd have had more comics to invite. Because oh, there's yeah. more people I would have much rather have had there than like, you Damn, know, the answer family to... members are gonna watch this. I Frank. mean, you know what I mean? Yeah, you know? Hey, Frank, take a... it easy, take it easy, Frank. Don't reveal too much. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a few weddings I ain't been invited to in the comedy community. I'm like, what? Yeah, like, yeah. Why would you not want me at your wedding? A hundred. Somebody gotta turn this boring shit. Up. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> getting married. Hey, 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 hey! I wore all white to Jeremiah's wedding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dog. <laughs> he was so mad. <laughs> I was like, before I did, I said, "This is gonna be bad." Like, <laughs> I, I love it. Dude, I love it. <laughs> I like fucking with Jeremiah. <laughs> yeah, what, what are your favorite spots to eat out here in LA? Uh, to eat out here, uh, I fuck with Bloodsos. Bloodsos Barbecue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They got these brisket fries. Yeah. Them shits is fire. Um, and I like Toy. What's that? It's like a Thai restaurant right here off. Oh, of off Sunset. Sunset? Yeah, yeah, that yeah. shit fire. Yeah, it stays open till like three, four yep. in the morning. Yeah. No, no, it used to. No, not anymore. Yeah, it only stay open to like twelve now. What? Like, bro, I had an ex girlfriend that used to work there, and until when it opened, like, like when it stayed open to like three, and I would always go in there after open mics and shit, and just be for a fucking struggling comic nigga. That was a come up, bro. Oh like, my god, because their deals were so good, and it was a lot of food. Mm-hmm. They have this. Uh, uh, Thai spaghetti there, Bruh, dude. Yeah, that Thai spaghetti yeah, is so fucking good. Yeah. They also did a deal where it was like every Tuesday, if you came in with your medical marijuana card, you got like twenty percent off. Oh or yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Medical cards, one, medical marijuana cards. I I've started to realize medical marijuana cards. I think was the better way to go. Why? Yeah, because it put like it was a little Why? bit more risk and reward in yeah. there. You know, it put some more respect on it. Yeah. I remember that shit, nigga. I remember having. I remember being the only one like in the in like. Talk about that, like my group of comedy friends and shit, like only having like a medical marijuana card or whatever. And I, and back then, I used to smoke and shit. And them niggas was like, yo, man, can you use your medical marijuana card to go up here? And but it was just fun just getting that shit, though. Yeah. Like, you were like, okay, the doctor was, the doctors really didn't give a fuck. No, they were zooming from fucking Miami, like not even looking at the camera, being like, all right, what, you know? I went and got my first medical card in uh, Inglewood on Market Street. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And I remember going in and walking into the lobby, and there was some dude in the lobby. He's like, man, I was Zubat high. And I'm like, that is the funny, because Zubat, Zubat? Zubat from Pokemon. Pokemon is like, <laughs> 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 and that's like me and my buddy Jair. That's we would always. Funny, it was an inside joke between us, but like now, I think it's a zoo bad high. So that's now, funny. yeah, and 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 that's you know when we turned eighteen, I couldn't wait to go get my medical card, and that's that's when I got mine. You I'm know, I liked about the marijuana about the marijuana shops is they always had the baddest weed smoking chicks that worked. There, oh, right? I don't know anything it, about that. You know, I'm a. Oh, they had dudes. Everyone I went to had <laughs> sweaty, nasty dudes. I, 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 Oh, 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 I, my bad. I, no, but oh, I'm serious, too. The ones oh. I went to, it was like, I went to one called uh, Fountain of Wellbeing, and it was like Ray and this other tall white dude. And Ray? It, yeah, and it was a hash bar, but you are right. The ones in, in downtown had like hoochies working there for He's sure. Like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was a few places I worked to where I was just like, <laughs> I already talked to them, and they'd be like, it's weed. And I'm like, God damn it. If you go to any shop like in, in the hood now in South Central, just look for the Green Cross and a generator. And you know you're like at the right spot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What's the generator for? Because you, they turn off the power. There's no power. The, the whole place is run off of Jenny. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, pretty yeah. hood. You're, yeah, yeah, yeah. you're like, oh, yeah, they got $30. they have been days. shutting those things down, bro. Dude, there's one on uh, on Atlantic. Damn, I sound like a cop now. There's one in the hood, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 On Atlantic. Yeah, yeah. 
and that motherfucker has been there for like three years and it'll, it'll be down on hiatus for like a week and back up like like nothing happened yeah and, and it's a compton they don't have like legislature yet for for weed mm -hmm. so they're gonna i think they're just gonna keep trapping it out for a minute Oh, okay. Because I used to sell to some of those dispensaries for a cool minute. Yeah. I would literally backpack in there and knock on there with a fucking Pokemon T-shirt, and they'd yeah. be like, "I'd be like, you guys want to buy some weed?" Yeah, yeah. yeah. They'd be like, you don't look like a weed guy. I'm yeah. like, I got a bunch. Get your stupid I'm ass. Super high. Like, right, right in front of the Compton Court building, I used to sell a lot of pot right there to, mm. to those, and I used to grow it in Compton too. Yeah. All fucking all in here. Dang, I remember. Do uh, you remember this comic named Johnny Doom? Do you remember Johnny Doom? Vaguely. Oh, okay. I, he let me house it because he had weed plants, and he let me like house it so I like for like five days so I could watch his weed plants and shit. I don't know shit about growing weed, right? <laughs> but he had like a whole he had like a whole back like with the lights and shit and all this shit, and I would have to uh, I would have to go water them and shit, and I think I like watered them like two, it's a you have to do it very 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 meticulously. Yeah. You guys know it, you can't overwater weed plants, bro. No. And he came back and I like. Day after day after day, I start watching these motherfuckers turn super yellow and shit. <laughs> and I was like, oh, fuck, man. And I go, and I, and I didn't know how to save him and nothing like that, bro. He came back, and I was like, <laughs> I was like, you good? I was like, is this? He was just like, oh, man. All right. That's all he did. He was like, all right. And I was like, I tried, nigga. I was like, thanks for the, thanks for the bed. But, like, I, I think I killed that fool. Yeah. Plans. I, I've had some workers that I've hired, and it's like the thumb of death, we call mm -hmm. it. You know, they just don't. You know, and if you don't teach someone either the right way to do it, they're gonna fuck it up. What did he you know? think I was gonna do? Like, I'm not a fucking <laughs> florist, nigga. Did, did you tell him that you grew weed before? No, he just he just like he just liked me as a person. He and just I was signed like, his, That don't know. mean shit. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I like people as a person. I'm like, I don't trust them to do everything. <laughs> fucking a. Oh that my god, that's crazy. so fucking yeah, funny. So ever asked me to watch a weed plant or none of that shit. Do you still do you still grow that shit? I grow. I've been growing for like ten years, probably more nonstop every day. See more now. See more. I I know that people are more so growing mushrooms. They mushrooms, own mushrooms now. Shit yeah, now. mushrooms. Yeah. Everyone's trying to do the mushrooms. The hood is finally getting on to mushrooms. They're gonna be woke as fuck. Yeah. yeah What's man. gonna happen when the whole the hood? You know what? Like cholos. Yeah. Cholos. They do like I, I like the ones on my block. I, I got mushrooms. I got DMT. Yeah, yeah. I got psychedelics, and I'll give them some. I'm yeah, yeah. Go home and take that. I'm it's like giving. Fire. Do they be better people afterwards? Yeah, they're like, "Hey, fool, you got any more of that DMT, fool?" <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's like giving a fuck, giving fire to a fucking like the cavemen and shit. Yeah. They're just like, "Oh, all right, we and, can build society now." And I'll be like, "I gave it to your primo." Don't give it to his ass. Give it to me. Like, they're on it, dog. Like, they love mushrooms. They love DMT, man. man. The game bangers just having ego deaths. Like, <laughs> like, like, <laughs> I don't even know why we even do this. Yeah, he's <laughs> like, I am no longer a little puppy. Like, yeah. <laughs> I'm my own master. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Actually, I'm an avatar, man. I don't even have a name. <laughs> Watch some Jim Carrey. You know Slink Johnson? Yeah, yeah that's like, my friend. Like, I gave Slink Johnson his... I think I gave him his first dab at a house party around El Segundo in Vermont back yeah, in the day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause, cause I before Black Jesus or after? Before Black Jesus. Oh, okay. Yeah, we were at a house party, and he was there because he knows my buddy Jair and his buddies. And uh, I remember like having the – because I used to dab. I've been dabbing for a long time. Yeah. And I was at the house party with my whole rig, and he's like, I never done this shit or something like that. And he hit mm -hmm. it at the house party, and I gave Slink Johnson his first dab. I used to, I lived in the Fruit Town, Piru neighborhood. Yeah, yeah. So I used to hang out with a lot of them, and I would kick it at my buddy Terry's house. Gave a lot of them their first dabs, and sometimes they'd, like, look at me like, like what the fuck you just do? What is a dab anyway? Like, what is it? So when dab, the first dabs, the ones that first came onto the scene, was uh, weed, dry weed, plant material, thrown in a column with butane, ran through it. What's that? Uh, the fire, the, the shit, shit, the shit that's inside of a lighter. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's the solvent that, it, and and it would extract the the trichrome heads off of the plant material, so that it's no plant material, it's just the the the, the oil that comes yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they would uh, heat it up and vacuum all the uh, the particulate as far as butane as much as they can. So that was the first wave of shatter, BHO, wax. All that shit. That was that. That's when mm -hmm. we started smoking. But hash was always around. That's a type of hash, but hash, the shit that I like to smoke nowadays, is made with water and ice. 
and it's just water and ice that agitates the weed and the heads fall off and you know that's the hash and that's what i smoke now and it's just a more what potent high or something or way potent more, way more potent potent uh finer process and it's how do a you lot more how do you think on it oh well it's like i mean so i'll do a fat dab and i'll be high for like 30 minutes but i'll just be fine i can still do stuff i could be good i could take the biggest you don't dab get paranoid Mm, unless I'm like ripped, ripped, but even then, it's it like, depends like how seasoned you are, right? Yeah. Like if if you're like if if it's your first time dabbing, you're gonna pass the fuck out, depending on how big and potent the strain was. Yeah. For me, a dude that wakes up and I live and eat this shit for the past ten years, it's like fucking. I could hop in a car and go 100 miles per hour after ripping That's a big one. See, when it start getting when it start getting like that and like that, I was like, all right. Uh, so these are just nutrients. These are just nutrients. <laughs> now these are plant nutrients. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. But you are right. Like now there's but, inhalers. Now there's uh, fucking enemas. Now fucking enemas. I, there's every yeah. shape and form that Niggas you could. Niggas getting it in the ass. <laughs> yeah, He's man. Taking weed in the ass. That's <laughs> crazy. Yeah, dog. He's getting <laughs> fucked by the weed, bro. That's crazy. And talking about you want to hit this next. They pass the enema like, nigga, <laughs> like nigga, and then you could be like, nigga, don't be doing all my weed, nigga. Pass that shit, greedy ass. You don't, you didn't even put in on this shit. <laughs> Get some of Terry. Ugh, Terry, nigga, you didn't clean your ass, nigga. <laughs> Why's the table that's all wet? Damn, <laughs> that shit crazy, man. Niggas out there wilding, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god Hey you didn't throw in on this Enema motherfucker <laughs> <laughs> Hey you Two squeezes and pass <laughs> <laughs> I ain't giving it to your ass You be farting all the time <laughs> Oh my god That's crazy Oh man So That's funny That's interesting bro Wow! Every yeah. shape and form, man. Yeah, mm. man. Niggas, is niggas doing the needles yet? Uh, I don't think yet. If you doing weed by the needles, bro, that's that's like they're sniffing it. They're sniffing weed. They're so sniffing that was a weed, thing. That, yeah. that was a big thing that came out that everyone like the community was like, "What the fuck?" They came. It was like, what was it? Canna, canna, canna CBD bumps, canna bumps, canna bumps. So it was literally. Oh, it's getting crazy. Dude, it was the <laughs> it was the powdered form of THC, and it came with a hundred dollar bill. It was like a fake hundred dollar bill, mm -hmm. and you were literally just doing THC cocaine. Wow. And it was terrible. It wasn't real cocaine. It was just like. You done it before? No, but you, people were like, a few people. It was just a bad idea. It was terrible. Oh, okay. But that you know, um, Mike Tyson selling edible ears. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's, That's great, Mark. Hilarious. That's so funny. Ain't that crazy? He's just, yeah, he's great. Like I saw him because don't no, none of that go to Evander Holyfield. No, no. Now they uh, they, oh, they partner they're, on they're partner and they're doing commercials together oh. and stuff. So now he's getting a little cut. Okay, that's cool, because at first, Evander was only selling barbecue sauce. Yeah, now he's fucking... Ha have you seen Mike Tyson's podcast? Mm -hmm, so much of it. Do Hot boxing? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I only see glimpses of it, and there's some where he's like just punking like the guest. And that motherfucker, so look, a few, maybe like a couple months ago, he was at the uh, he was at the improv, and he had just did an interview with one of my favorite boxers, uh, Jamal Tarlo. He's uh, They're twins or whatever. Anyway... But uh, he just did an interview with him, and so I just did uh, Mo Betta, uh, uh the improv show, and he came out and shit. I was like, oh, shit, nigga, it's Mike Tyson. And I was like, nigga, it's Mike Tyson. And I said, hey, man, I, uh, I liked your interview with uh, with Jamal. And then he looked at me and said, what you say to me? And I was at the like, I said I like your interview with Jamal. <laughs> he was like, oh, thanks. And I felt brave. <laughs> I felt brave. He, like I didn't, cause I didn't get punk. I was just like, I said, I love your work. <laughs> <laughs> he walked by me at the comedy store in the parking lot, and I went. I meant to be louder, but I couldn't. The word, yeah, yeah. Every, I was just scared. Everything just shut down. I was like, oh god. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and he's so. It's not that he big, but he's like a lot. Yeah, it's it. it, it I said it was like. When you go to the zoo and a tiger walks past the glass and you're like, it's so close. Like, I could, it's, yeah, yeah. thank God. That, but, like, he walked past and was like, it was just power walking. You're like, that man is, there was that video of him, like, boxing. I just went, and it was before he did all the fights again, but mm -hmm. it was just him, like, warming up boxing. And it was just him just moving his hips and just, and you're like, holy shit. That's yeah, a lot. Dude, That's you a ever lot. do any boxing? Crazy. Yeah, for a little bit, but goddamn, not like that. That guy's 
it, it, you look at that and you're like, oh, that guy's born with it. Like you, that is. You do boxing instinct. fighting? Uh, yeah, I train and shit. Yeah, I was looking, I was skimming, like you yeah, know, yeah. All yoked up and shit. Yeah, I train and Hell shit. Yeah. 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 So back to what we were saying earlier about uh, being in this in, around comedians and stuff, and when they when they say it was like, oh, Jamar, you're wild. You're like, oh, you don't know what, like my family's. Yeah, like. yeah, yeah. So that is the also thing of like, uh, I remember Big Mike uh, pressed you once. Got you know. R.I.P. Big Mike. Yeah. And it was just funny because it was just like, oh, that was one of those guys who, like, he can usually punk all the other comics. But people he forget. He did that? He did that to people? No, I feel like he could. You know, like, if he did, he usually could. Oh, like, like his energy. Yeah, 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 he can, yeah you yeah. know, because he's just a bigger guy. But that's the thing is, like. Oh, you, you was right there. I was right there when it happened. Right, right, it was right, right. hilarious. All right. What he, 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 um. He walked up to me and he said uh, he confused me for another comic. Yeah, which uh, it's, it's fine. fine. But but just how he did it, he could tell he, he was doing be, it on purpose. Yeah, he started being very disrespectful, and it was just kind of he like, was just like I said. I said that's not my name, and then he was like, "Well, what is your name, then, nigga?" And I was up there like, "Nigga," and I, I got mad. I was like, hey, "You know my name," and then he was up there like, "What is it then? What is it then?" And I was up there like. I was like, who the fuck you think you're talking to? Yeah. And he was like, I'm talking to you. And I said, nigga, what? Yeah. And I, said, <laughs> like, and I don't really get like that, though. He doesn't. And But like, it was like, you could see, I was like, oh, okay. Uh, it's, it's just, you could just tell uh, the energy that a person's giving yeah. off where it's like, this nigga, he want problems and shit. But I'm like, you're not about to talk down to me. Like, you're yeah, crazy. Yeah. I work here, bro. Yeah. I'm about to lie. I get you, I get you, I can get you kicked out of here or I could just fuck you up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you'll be lucky if Jamar has someone get you out of here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. happened one time at my job I used to work at a sausage factory I know <laughs> say pause say pause, pause. The camera I'm like pause. <laughs> no, no, go ahead. so I worked at a legit Korean sausage factory we used to make sausages for the Korean uh, restaurants and uh, this one time I used to be like a hard worker I worked too fucking hard I still do to this day but like I worked for an, by the hour and everyone else was kind of like immigrants and I'm like a kid with you know, I got I got a good foundation. I got mom and dad that I could still go fucking suck off their tit if something bad will happen. These guys are here. They they they're like they're making ends meet. They're working really hard. They're stretching out the time. They're working as hard as they need to, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm over here working as hard as I can at a sausage factory, getting paid crumbs. I didn't get it yet, you yeah, know. Yeah. But that's good that my mentality is like that. That's why I got to where the fuck I'm at. But either way, I'm working hard and I'm mad at my coworkers. I'm mad because they all work slow. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and I'm like, mm -hmm. let's, let's work faster. Let's get the fuck out of here. They're like, mm -hmm. chill the fuck out, dude. Like, take it easy. Like, we're, we're trying to make eight hours every day, you know? And I didn't get it. They never told me. I got it till later on. So I, I like, uh, I got into a fight with somebody. A real physical fight? Yeah. So <laughs> I went up to him. I'm like, hey, man, like, like you work really slow. Like, yeah. Like, I wonder how your kids feel about their dad. You said that? Yeah, I was mad. I was, I was like, Trying to get them to do some shit, you That's know. That's crazy. So, oh, oh, you, oh, so you wanted to smoke? Yeah, yeah. So, cause I was already, he was already on my nerves. But this yeah, is the yeah. day that I went to like press his ass, and he pushes me off of him, and I'm like, here we go, boop, 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 and and since he pushed me first, and I was there longer than him, and I was a hard worker, you know. <laughs> you beat the shit out of him, and and, the, and, and your work rate got him. <laughs> your work rate, you got him just by work rate alone. Yeah, and 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 he and he got fired. Oh my god, and I god. did it. Cause, cause the 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 boss is like, he pushed you first. I'm like, yeah. The guy's like, and I'm just like, sorry, it, dude. It's the best when they hit you first, cause then you got an excuse. Like, yeah. I don't really, honestly, to be truthful, bro. It's like, it's like I'll be like boxing and whatever the fucking shit like that. But it's like I don't like fighting no, at all. Yeah. Like I I hate it. Like the like, nigga, I got pepper spray because I don't want to have to throw hands. That's I'm right, like, baby. I, and I've always wanted to pepper spray somebody, nigga. I, just, <laughs> <laughs> I always want to pepper spray somebody, dog. <laughs> Nigga, I can't wait to use. Nigga, I can't wait to use this shit, bro. Uh, baby, uh, order two pepper sprays, please. Oh I can't God, believe like, we don't have any of that. You know. I, 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 tell niggas, I, I just, like, I just hope God protects me in every situation. But I think the pepper spray might do a little buffer. You never buffering. want to pepper spray somebody. No. Never. Have you oh, you know what's so funny? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Same yeah. shit. Yeah. <laughs> I like. I really do not want to fight. I don't want to do that, but I do want to do this so bad. I went down a wild Fighting rabbit sucks. hole where I just <laughs> where I watch people get tased. Yeah. <laughs> oh I, yeah, <laughs> it's the funniest. You shit You mean ever. cops on fucking Fox no, 11? No, just random anyone getting tased is bro. Anyone can get. They got tased. compilations, yeah. bro. They got Dude, compilations. It's so funny. <laughs> My uncles used to love watching cops when I was a kid. I didn't. Get I used it. to love watching. I cops. didn't get it till now, and I'm like, I get it. Like yeah, that's yeah. these but guys also, are just hilarious. Someone explained it to me too, where it was like. Uh, it makes sense why a lot of people in the Midwest think 
certain ways of like blacks or like Mexicans or because Cos was epic. If it, if that's the only thing you've ever seen of other people outside your race, yeah, you're watching a show of the worst representation. They'd have of some the trailer trash people. ass motherfuckers yeah, on there too. You know, but it's also I mean? like you know major cities and stuff. So you got to see I'm like, over here like Lil Wayne. Oh, <laughs> yeah, a what white cop that? help me. <laughs> <laughs> What do you mean, man? Yeah. A white cop helped me. Oh, my God. Saved my life. Uh, What's (laughs) your name? His name is John. Perfect. Uh, Anything you want to plug? Shit. Oh, fuck. I'm so bad at podcasts. Season two. Season two of This Fool coming out uh, real soon. Mm. Um, uh, We're we're about to go shoot it. Uh, Go check out the new house party I'm in, uh, the new movie House Party. And uh, I got a special called Jamar Malachi Neighbors Live in a Park. It hasn't dropped yet. But stay tuned and um, just follow me on social media. Dude, thank and you so much. And I'll be at the much. Comedy Store every single week. Dude, thank you so much for coming. This was a blast. Yeah, Sorry about that me, earlier, man. dog. It's all good. Yeah. It's all this good. Is, this was so much fun. Uh, yeah, yeah. Anything you want to plug? Um, MasonicSeeds.co. Make sure you guys are buying seeds. And uh, make sure you guys are a Patreon member on Masonic Smoker Podcast. That helps me and my buddy Frank here do this, you know, like we're supposed to. It's happening on the blessing. Masonic Smoker Podcast Patreon. Oh, yeah, yeah, this shit's thank fucking you for so me, bro. fun. Thank you, Dougie. Thanks for coming in, man. Yeah, dude. Green cleaner, baby. Go tap in.